Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a different video than normal. I am not going to make 1 to 12, I'm sorry, but I am going to make a haul. I got this box here from my husband. This is filled with stuff. It is really packed in there. This was a hundred Danish crowns. I am going to translate that into dollars right here. Um, and uh, we got that from the hobby store here in Denmark and I am going to open this one and see what I find in there because it's really really packed and there's a lot of things. Um, I might do a project or two from it, let's see, uh, but this is not 1 to 12, but I'm going to do this today because it's just summer and hot and I don't feel like doing something uh, in miniature right now. So. Let's go to the work table and see what's in this boy here. So here is the box, how it looks and what I got. It's a hundred uh, Danish crowns and um, my husband and I saw this in the store and we just thought this could be a fun little thing to look at instead of being uh, creative in 1 to 12 this week. Um, so I am going to open this box here and take out all the things in here and I hope I find some really interesting things. The first thing here is actually good, uh, but let's take a look in it. In it. Um, I am going to open the lid here if I can. There we go. And um, I'm going to put the box to the side and then take one piece at the time. So the first thing we got is some fabric markers. Um, these could be too old. I'm not sure if there is a date on these anywhere. Um, so I hope they are not too old because this could be actually be really awesome for me uh, with my scent angles as well. I could do some really cool things on fabric if these are working. So that's the first thing. Then we have a piece of fabric. Actually that is a a bag here um, it's hard to have that on the camera but it's a tote, tote bag and you can decorate it yourself or use it as it is actually I think that is pretty neat as well it's cotton um, so that is actually pretty good to have then we have a few pieces of uh, this foam thing um, and this one has a dent here from some of the other things. Uh, but these can be good and be used in 1 to 12 as well if I wanted to, if I need it, or if I figure out something else. Um, but uh, they are pretty neat to have. Put that to the right. Then we have a wooden figure here. I think it's supposed to be a ghost um, and you're going to paint that. Uh, that's actually the purpose for it, but it needs some sanding. Or maybe I can use it for a bottom for a small scenery. Who knows? Oh, I might use that for something interesting. We have some cutouts. Oh. It says cut out, but it's more like um, some small cards or stuff like that. Let's open up and see. Yeah. These are small, uh, looks like uh, small gift cards, something like that. They're actually pretty cute. Um, I can use them for uh, birthday gifts and stuff like that, maybe. Um, or maybe even use them for card making. But I really would love to know who gets these kind of outcuts and what you guys use them for. i never seen that kind before. We have some beads with leather on. And I have uh, a niece that have a girl and uh, she's around two years now. But I think when she gets a little older this could be fun for her. So she will have to wait a year more. But that could be really interesting too. I'm just putting everything here to the side so at one point it will overflow. Here we have a bag of uh, small pom-poms, a tiny piece of 
fabric, some yarns, and some green things. Uh, we, what's the name for those? Um, rhinestones and a piece of wood. I think this is coming from a kit of something. Um, but the instructions are not with, so that's sad because it could be fun to uh, know what that is for. But I can use everything there. Let's see. Some elastic bands, cord. We can always use that for something. Then we have this box of beads. Um, air dry. Oh, so that is. Uh, that is um, some kind of glue thingy that you actually should put together with the beads and then you can make something like this. Just there is no white beads in there, so that would be hard. Um, um, never seen that before. Air drying. But I might not be using that stuff there. Actually, I don't think there is enough in here for all three bottle of beads. But I can use the beads for other things like eyes and stuff like that. Well, they are not black, but maybe I can figure out something to use, use these beads for. Maybe. Um, oops, we have some, uh, what's that, paper balls and stuff like that it looks like a mushroom so you can draw on these color them or do stuff like that and an egg i can find something fun to do with those some markers permanent markers oh that's nice fabric marker another one bolt tip mm. orange not my favorite color but it's there let's see there was one more and red. Oh, that was smelly. So let me put that to the side. And I found a bunch more of these um, mushroomy things here. I think they are bigger. No, it's around the same size. So I got a bunch of those. I got a bag here with yarn in there and pom-poms and whatever that is. It looks like um, small hats and stuff like that. Oh, wait, here there is a uh, party animals. So that's for making pom-poms. Oh yes, that's hats. So you can make these four um, figures here with what's in this bag here. That's actually kind of fun. I like that. Let me put that together with that one. So I have that together. Uh, one thing at the time. I have the letter G. I don't know anyone that needs the letter G. But it's there. Some more stickers. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what it says. N A M N Gewse. Nemne. Nemne Gewse. I don't really get that word. Okay. The same here and here. So the first one is an N. N A M N Givelse. So this one is the Danish word for giving. I would have said it would be name giving, but N A M N doesn't mean anything. It should have been an E. N A M E. Hmm. They are weird, but the back side is um, without anything, so you could, I, I could use the back side here of these cards for something else 
except that they are not that neatly um, cut out here. So I'm not sure I'm gonna use these for anything at all because um, I don't know what it says. Okay, let me put these to the side. Then we have a green Hoppy Gloss paint. Um, I like that one, it's a nice color. I can use that for older furnitures in miniature. Oh, I have a handful here. So I have different kind of pencils, color pencils. They are always good to have, especially when you get visited by uh, people with small kids, like my niece. I have the letter Z and the letter Q, again, letters that I don't know anyone can use. And some small bags here with some googly eyes, some, what's that, paper? No, that is uh, fabric, everything, and some ribbon and stuff like that. There's three equal bags here, put them to the side. Then I have some cutouts, says invitation, I can understand that one. Uh, and I can actually use that for card making and stuff like that, so that's neat. Let's see, another bag with some heads, mouth, eyes, head, even a tiny pencil. I think you're supposed to build something out of this. Again, there is a um, instruction missing or needed. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Some more cutout menu. I can use that. Because oh, we are going to have um, a party for me and my husband here later this year because we are both turning 50. So I can use those. So this one are baptism. Um, they're pretty cute. I just don't know anyone that is going to be baptized. So yeah, and this one says dub, dub. These words are so random. Who wants a card saying dub? Look dope? Is that dope? That's dope. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah. Again, a tiny bit weird, but I can use the shapes for something else. So I can still use that. Let's see what we got here. <gasps> That's a little sled. In maybe in 1 to 12, a miniature uh, sled. I like that. And then I have some tie dye colors. I wonder what colors these are. Blue and teal, maybe from the lid. That's nice. I like those colors, so that's perfect. Uh, but two colors for tie dye, maybe a little less. Than I really wanted. I want at least three colors for tie dye, but who knows? I could tie dye the back here that we got in the start. That could be fun. Then I got a little package here with a number on it. Let me see what that could be. That is supposed to be a pair of skis. They are very inconsistent. Actually, I think this one broke, that the tip is broken off of that. They're not that neat, uh, but I could maybe find something to do with these. I'll put that there. Again, these are, these are longer than the sled. Well, I think they're supposed to, but look how thick they are. Uh, I would have to do some sanding here, and it's even bumpy. It's really, really bad made. Oh well. Then we have some wooden figures. I actually like these. I can do something fun with these. I have two cups. Oh, that was just some coloring on there. There we go. I can use them as is or I can paint on these. They are actually pretty neat. 
Uh, and from the uh, money we gave for this, this is actually containing a lot of different cool things. Let's see here. Some of those uh, foam sheets again. And this one has some uh, glitter in there. And there's a white as well. That's neat. I like that. Oh yes, 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 yes. Stickers. Christmas stickers. Five sheets of Christmas stickers. Oh, they're so cute. I love stickers, so that's just perfect. And there's even more. Oh, even more here. Wow, that's a lot of stickers. There's one more hiding here. So three of the ones with this little Santa on and the little hearts and gifts and stuff like that. I really like these. They are so cute. And then some Christmas hearts. They are also very cute. So one, two, three, four sheets here of um, stickers and then this pack with five in. That is neat. And there are so many different in here. Letter paper, gifts, and I see a um, um, gingerbread house back there, Christmas trees, Christmas gifts, socks. I can use that one for a miniature. Uh, Santas, snowmans, banners. There is a lot of different things in this one. Uh, let me see if I can find a place on the side for that one. And then I have another marker, creative color, porcelain. So that is for the cops. Again, orange, mm, not so much, but it's there. Is there a thing there? There was another tiny pen that might come from this one because there's a black one in here. So that might belong in there. I really don't know what these bags are for. Let me open this one. I think it's uh, supposed to be a animal of some kind. There's some weird pieces in here. Something weird is going on. And then the thread and the pipe cleaner. I, I really don't know what, um, what this little bag is for. And the same with these. Some kind of uh, fun Christmassy animals or something. And again, I, I'm missing the how-to. And then I have a, a big piece of dotted fabric here. And this brown... Um, I don't know what to call this pattern, but I can kind of like it. And then a lot of uh, pink too. Or how you call this. That is actually pretty neat, this one. I like that. And this color you could use for a couch or something. The same with this one. So that's some nice fabric. So that is a lot of things in this box. And some of them are just totally random. And some of them are pretty neat and fine. Um, I need to figure out something to do here. Uh, give me five minutes and then I will be back. So I opened up a few of these things. So one of them is these uh, three boxes with beads. And then this is um, not glue as I thought, but a doughy thing. Uh, but still kind of a glue thing because you can mix it with the beads and do something out of that. And I have no idea how that works. And it can glue to everything and anything. So it's uh, kind of annoying, I think. Um, it smells really bad. So you're going to take some of the putty here and mix it with some of the beads. And then you can uh, make your own figures and stuff like that. Um, but these beads here are kind of cute. Uh, and now I have them almost all over because I just almost knocked it over. Actually, I need to try this out. Uh, I think this is stupid. Um, I don't like the idea of it and I don't think the colors match. Um, the colors match perfect together, but 
what can I do with these three colors? I wanted some white maybe. Yeah, if I had a white in here, I could do something really creative. But let me open this weird thing here. I'll put the plastic away. And open this one. Oh, that is so sticky. I don't feel like touching it at all. No, that is really, really sticky. Um, more than I actually thought. Let me open this one. See if I can do just a little something here. Uh, I don't have a sensory overload thingy uh, problem, but this is the most stickiest slime I have ever seen. Uh, let me put that to the side. And I just think that you are going to... Um, from what I read, mold it in there or just stick it to it. I don't know. I'm just gonna mold it in there. See if I can make it less sticky. This is so weird. But the beads are really stuck in there. So you can see how sticky this is. Let me see if I can get more in there. Oops. No. I might have overloaded it now. I still feel the stickiness at my fingers. Or on my fingers. But I think this will not come undone now. I'm just gonna roll it. Now I have a ball of purple uh, beads. I want a ball. Let's make a heart. That is so sticky and it really smells like glue. And it's not that easy to shape. I think that's because of the beads in there. Um, yeah, I think that's the closest I can get to a heart with these beads. Um, so I am going to put this to the side and see how long it takes for it to uh, harden. Let me put the lid on this one because that is not that fun to play with. But actually I didn't use much of it for making this little bead heart. <laughs> okay. Let me just leave it there and then I will see how long it takes for it to dry. Um, I might be able to use the beads here for something else, so um, yeah, I will save those. But this sticky thing, yeah, I don't know what to say. It's a little sad that they are not actually real beads with a little hole in them, but I could use them for eyes, just painting them black and then use them for teddy bear eyes and stuff like that. I could do that. So I will find something to do with these anyway. Then there was this little bag here. Let's open up that one as well. Just get everything out here in the light. So. I have some thread, some stickers for a face. Uh, where is the opening here? There it is. Get all this out. See if I can control it so it's not rolling everywhere. There it is. Whoops. I think that's a head. And then there is these weird shapes here and these and some hammer 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 beads hammer beads um these are actually pretty cute these two 
very cute. Um, then there is a green, a brown, a thick, thicker brownish, and an orange a pipe cleaner. And these small hammer beads here. Um, two yellow, two black, and six green. I'm pretty sure you're um, supposed to make some figures where you can use this as the head. Um, I don't know what this is, maybe a little jacket for a figure, could be. But then what is the square and this little round thing? And if it's a hat, yeah, it could be a hat because that uh, other green here is a tiny bit bigger. So it could be like placing a hat on a figure here. Let me let me try something. So we have this pipe cleaner and I am going to find the middle of it. It's around here. Maybe these goes they don't fit in there. Okay, so the head on first and then out for a little arm maybe on each side. See if I can do them equal. Doot. So that would be around there. going like that. So two arms and then I could take one of these and pop it in there. One there. Maybe. But wouldn't that look stupid? Ah, uh, maybe take this little thing here and place it on as a jacket. And then that one for the head. He's just gonna disappear here. I don't know about these beads. Maybe they can stick out here as the hand. Doot. And then... And I didn't even make it on the middle. Some legs. That might be too small. Yeah, I should not put the jacket on yet. I kind of knew that. And then this one for kind of a stand for these guys. Let me pull the jacket off again. So if I can go around here with this one. And then do something like that with the other side as well. Nah. Let me do that like this instead. And then maybe twist the legs here a tiny bit. I don't think that's the best idea. There we go. And then the little jacket on. Again. I don't like the beads here, so I'm just gonna pull those off. There we go. Then I can glue this little hat on there. And then a face. Let me take one of these. Pop that on here. doesn't look good. And then a the little hat. Actually I think I'm gonna peel that off again. That's not good. Let's not do that. Um, take this little one. Uh, 
an eye, an eye, and a tiny mouth. And then maybe you could make some hair of this one. And then stick on the hat. Nah, just the hat on there. Ta-da! I made a tiny man. He doesn't look that happy. Maybe the mouse would be good. <laughs> the tiny eyes. They're really tiny. One eye here. And then the other eye over here. <laughs> and then the hat. I might have to glue that. Where's my glue? Um, just a dot here and a dot here, and there, and then take the green thing, pop that on top, like that, pop in some glue here, oops, and glue that on top of his head. <laughs> Ta-da! I made a little man in a green jacket. And I could glue him to the stand here as well. If I can. Oh, I could use these as soft shoes. There we go. And then pop that on there. And then we have a tiny man standing on a little black piece here, if I can get the lid off again. Man or person. The mouse looks more like a person than a man. Or a lady like a man. There we go. Back on. And he's falling, so I'm going to put him to the side and let him dry. <laughs> so I was thinking about doing something about this one. And I do will throw these out because one of them are broken and they are too thick and I don't really like them. So they are going in the garbage. But this little thing here, it's um, kind of interesting. And I have uh, some uh, wood stainers here, so I'm just gonna try them out here on the wood. Um, kind of like the first one best. This one has this weird purplish colors to it. But maybe that would actually be really good. I actually think I'm going to use this one. So I think I am going to have fun with this as it's in this little piece of wood thingy. So I'm just gonna color it on one side first. And then turn it over and do it on the other side. Let's see if I can make some kind of cute miniature out of this one anyway. Just because I feel like it. And then this piece. Go, where's the lid? It's right there. Put this one back. 
and then I should be able to pop them out. Yep. Go out. Do not break on me. Thank you. And then these two smaller pieces here. There we go. And they definitely need to see a piece of sandpaper. So let me take a piece of sandpaper. And yes, this is a Christmas thing, I know. But um, it's in this box, so I'm just gonna make it. I think that's good. Next one. I like to do this when I pop things out of wood like that because uh, they always have some kind of annoying scratchy edge and it doesn't look good when it's all done so I'm just gonna make sure it is nice and neat before I'm starting to put anything together. This one has kind of a extra little thing there. Oh, the other side. The thing here on the bottom. Just making sure it's nice and neat. And then the other one. And this one has this one as well. table a tiny bit. Put that to the side and that one. There we go. Taking this little thing here and I have some more down on the floor. Let's take this one and do the rest. So that it is all covered with this color and that will also hide a few not as nice spots in this wood. It's easy to feel that this is just a cheap wood but it's okay if we can do it to something interesting. This one. Take one of these smaller ones. And if you want to stain your wood like this, uh, do it before you glue because after you glue, you might have spots where the stain won't um, go into the wood. So do it before you glue, always. I kind of like this color. Mm 
Mm, I missed a spot. There we go. And then this little piece here. see I think these are going on like this and then these are going on afterwards like that mm -hmm. let's glue oh I could bring you in a bit closer see if I can do that just a tiny bit closer there we go and maybe turn on my light so you can see these darker pieces a little better um, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of my taggy glue here and pop that on I just have a tiny small bottle of taggy glue because um, the first time I was all playing around with tacky glue I kind of hated it but everyone keeps saying that tacky glue is so good so I'm trying it out again and I might think that the bottle I had of tacky glue that time was maybe not the best bottle of them because this one is actually working pretty good so let me pop in a tiny dot of glue right there and right here might have to put a little more there like that and then I'm going to place this one and trying to put this one on exact same way I need it to look good this one a tiny bit backwards there we go I think that's more right just making sure that they both really good into the glue here there we go okay I'm going to leave that to dry and put my glue back where it belongs there we go then I got these three pieces of felt let me put that to the side uh, in one of the smaller bags with all this uh, ribbons so I am going to take these and I was thinking of um, cutting them into halves like that and I need my tape so give me a second I'm back um, I'm going to bend this like that and that might be too big for a tiny gift so maybe I should just cut them smaller still too big okay let me do like that see if I can stack these like this that would be a nice present and then make a square one like that for a present and maybe do the same with this one and I can reuse these pieces here I got some gift wrapping here I know that is uh, one to one gift wrappers but that was what I had so I am going to try to wrap this little gift here into a piece of this paper
So I am just wrapping it around this little stack and I am going to take my tape here. I don't know if you can see that. Like this. Cut it up in the middle and then I'm going to cut these ruffle end ends here off because I don't like those. Put them away and now my little gift unwrapped. Let's do it again. Mm. Trying to wrap it really nice here. Like that. Taking a tiny piece of the um, tape and placing on the gift like that. And then I am going to make the ends here as neat as I can. Um, let me try that again. And then this side over. There we go. That's better. And then fold this little end up. Take another piece of my tape. Taping this down. And the same in the other end. Taking the tape and taping the end down. And there I have a little rib, gift wrap. Let's find a piece of ribbon. See if I can do this. Pop it there. Then turn it around and make a little knot. I'm not sure I can make this into a little bow, but I will try. I might have to make another knot here first. There we go. Now there is no bow on it. Maybe we can do one. Let me cut these a little down. This will also help holding the tape. Um, it's a little stiff, this uh, ribbon. But I'm pretty sure I can make a tiny bow here. Come on. Uh, no, 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 no. There we go. And then tighten it up and try to make it a tiny bit smaller. Maybe even smaller. There we go. Cut these ribbons off. There we go. And then we can glue that all to the little presents here. Present. By gluing it down here. So I need my glue again. What did I do with that? some of my glue and popping that on there. 
I'm not sure this will be good, but we are going to try. So I'm just gonna take these small ribbons here and then place everything in the glue. And just keep it down in the glue for a few minutes or seconds. Can put that away. So I did manage to get the bow here on there. It's not looking that pretty, but I made the two other ones and I have this for a rest. I'm just going to throw that one out. I made another little bow from the rest of these um, from the rest of these ribbons. So that's the only one I have left now. Um, and I was thinking of uh, decorating this little sled with the gifts here. Um, something like that, maybe. Let me use my uh, super glue here because I want this to dry up a tiny bit faster. And the bow did, so I'm just gonna super glue these two small backs in place. Packs, not backs. Gifts. And that takes a little longer again than I had hoped for. Come on. And then I have this little. I will wait with that one. This one needs to go on first. It's like it's not us uh, sticking in there. Hmm. It's only gluing the ribbon on this little bag pack packaging. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit drop more here to make sure it will stay where I want it to. Stay. Then I have this greenery here that is just a metal wire. It's almost like a pipe cleaner, but it's uh, made as um, some greenery. I need this little packaging to just get stuck in there, in the glue. I think it's there. So I could uh, maybe not do that with my scissor. Um, sorry about that. I'm gonna take a few of these and just glue them in there. Let me take three of them. What happened to my little... What happened to my silver bow now? Where did that go? I am not that lucky with this. Anyway, let me glue these on. I'm just gonna pop them in there with a tiny bit of glue on. last one there we go and I need to find that little ribbon oh here it is come on flew all the way to the side and then I have all these small snow globes and deco balls from one of my other crafts that I make here on the channel and I'm just gonna open up this little bag and um, take a few of them and glue on there. Oh, this is really not my day. So I want the little ribbon here. I can stick that here on the slate. So just pop a tiny bit of glue on there and place it. And then this little thing. One more of these gold balls here. I think I'm gonna put that over here. And then 
we need this little white thing to go on top here. So I'm just gonna place that down and hope that glue's in place somehow. I think it's on there. Um, oops, I would like some of these with the glitter on there as well. I can place one here, maybe one up there. And I can take one of these goldish ones. Uzi's in place as well. I'm gonna stop right there and make sure that everything is glued in place. And there we go. I think I will end with that. Um, let me clean off my table here. There we go. So, so this uh, video ended in a little Christmassy thing here. And I got all this greenery everywhere. There we go. Um, let's see if it's stuck on there. It is. So that how it turned out, the little slate here. Actually, I think it's very cute. I need a, a pull ribbon on that one. Um, I think I have something somewhere. <laughs> I have made some of these uh, braided ribbons a long time ago and I could uh, cut off the excess here and then I can glue that at the bottom of it and then make kind of a little uh, handle at the top here. like that so that it has a pull string and now I am just gonna make a knot on this longer side here because I want it to um, be used for other things so I'm just cutting that off here under the nut like that put that to the side so I have a tiny handle here for pulling the little sled and I am going to Turn that around carefully, taking a tiny dot of my super glue right there, and then placing the string here into the super glue. Let's see if I can place the cap here without ruining anything. Making sure that this little string is going into the super glue and let that dry I will turn that around here we go so now the little slate has a little pull string as well actually I think that came out really really cute so that is a project made of a few things from the box that I got and I actually think it turned out really really neat <laughs> So here I have the three things that we made. The little slate, I'm really proud of this one. Then we have the little person here. It can actually stand. Uh, there we go, it can stand. Um, it turned out really cute, but um, not my proudest moment. The little bead heart here, it's still, after a few hours, it's still really, really squishy it's more like a potty material than it is anything else and I'm not sure that this is ever gonna harden um, and it might even be too old um, I'm not happy about that so that's gonna go in the trash but this little uh, thing here turned out really really neat I like that one 
So sometimes there is things in these boxes you can use for stuff that you like. I am going to make the bag in a tie-dye because I think that would be really fun. If you want to uh, see me do that on camera, please tell me. Otherwise, I will just do it on the side. Um, but that was... Uh, uh, that was the video for today. It was actually supposed to be a summer video and it somehow turned into a Christmassy video. I'm sorry about that. Um, but that was just a little easy video for me to do today. I wasn't expecting to do anything in 1 to 12 today. This little guy is not counting, but this one could be a kid's uh, sled. Um, going to the grandparents with some gifts or some friends or so. Um, so actually I think that turned out really neat. All in all I really enjoyed this little box um, of a lot of things in there for 100 crowns. That was um, really a lot of good things in there and a lot of crap. Of course there will be. It's a blind bag thingy. So anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Sorry about the length of this video. I hope you will have a great summer and I will see you next week with a normal regular video. Happy crafting!